up guys, Rich Huber Bash. I'm out here in the garage. Uh, just got done doing a ton of wrenching. Uh, you'll see I got my two Cratons here. This is my, uh, my V3 beefcake, beefcake Craton that I've had for a while. And then this is actually my V4 that I decided to go ahead and just uh, give it the, the beef treatment uh, you know, too, Despite so. the tower bracing that they incorporated, um, I just kept having chassis bendage and, and you know, it just kind of is what it is. If you're really sending these things and, um, and uh, you know, having hard hits, etc. Um, so both of these are running, the M2C Racing. Uh, these are both prototype chassis. There's no anodizing. Um, and they have the same voltage upgrades. Uh, I've got the voltage braces front and rear. Um, the front suspension pin holder, you can't really tell because this one's black. Servo mount, the towers, uh, uh, hinge pin braces in the rear. Really the only, the big difference between these two right now is uh, they're both running the long can motors. I went ahead and bummed this one off my V2 Creighton. And this is the, the Hobby Star 4092 1730 uh, paired with the Max 8. And uh, my V3 over here has got pretty much the same, it's got a 4092 as well with the Hexfly Hex 8, which is pretty much the same ESC minus the cat pack, both by Hobby Wing. Uh, but this guy is, a, is the 1480. So this one's geared up with a 22 tooth. And then my V4 here is geared up. My V4 is geared up with a 20 at the Actually, moment. The plan so. is to go ahead and just compare the stock, uh, the stock Creighton shock setup with uh, Mitch Looper's, uh, these prototype uh, bladderless shock, shock systems. So this is more of a, like a motion style system, but again, um, like I talked about in another bench video, the goal is to essentially just have more adjustability. Um, he's got his own custom uh, pistons in here. So right now we're kind of, we're, we're tweaking the different piston sizes. So um, we'll see how this goes. I've got one, uh, one really hard run on this when it was still in essentially stock form. Um, so I'll go ahead and post some of that footage and then I'll just go ahead and mix in some other running footage as well. You see the seal on the inside there. Um, and then here's a shot of the piston. We're, again, we're still experimenting with different piston sizes, um, but you'll see the little uh, O-ring that goes around the size, uh, the edge there. So this piston is, you know, it's Delrin. It's just a tiny bit thicker than the stock and one. Then, well. um, Mitch also provides these little Delrin, uh, uh, these little uh, shock bushings um, as well. up. I'll go over that in another video, but it's super simple. It's actually easier to set these shocks up than the stock ones, um, at least to get them consistently right. Yeah, so. so far, I'm really impressed with the shock setup. We're just gonna need to do a little more tuning and experiment with some different piston hole sizes. Um, but compared to stock, you know, I, I'm not gonna knock the stock system one bit. Um, this is what I've been running for quite a while, but if you know, if we're able to improve the, the suspension setup and have a little less after bounce and maybe some better handling, it's definitely gonna be worth it in the end. Really not too much bounce.
actually uh, getting warm. Actually, I had some delays at the house, so yeah, it's just about 100 degrees out. I'm gonna keep this quick, but again, this is my beefed up B4. Just gonna uh, give these uh, M2C shocks an another quick run here. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that sucks. I think my uh, my servo just turned it out. In any so. case, I'm just swapping shocks out really quick. I'm just putting the I'm putting the M2C shocks on uh, on my other rig. So again, this one, my original Beefcake Creighton, this guy's got a uh, this has got the same 4092. It's just the lower t it's the lower KV, the 1480. A lot of guys have asked which motor is better, the, the 1480 or the 1730. They're both awesome as long as you get the gearing right. That was a close one. So far guys, these shocks are doing killer. Really, not a whole lot of bounce. Oh, oh, I just got tagged. <laughs> Oh, a little harsh. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it. Um, I just realized I had uh, busted a blade on my fan earlier. Well, it looks like I broke another one. Uh, normally I recommend putting a screen over here. They could have just busted from impact. I'm not really sure, but uh, I've had pretty good luck so far with this ESC. So anyway guys, the shocks did great. Uh, definitely impressed. Uh, they feel, felt really good off the jumps. Just going to take a, maybe just a little bit more tuning, but um, anyway, um, huge props to Arma and obviously to Mitch with M2C Racing Voltage Hobbies. Um, and I'm super excited to see what's coming out uh, with these new uh, these new Armas. So, all right, guys, until next time. Late.